We're here with Adi Berenson of a little, with a little company called Prime Sense. You might have not heard of them, but they actually power something called Xbox Connect. And uh, they've got a few other things up their sleeves right now. Adi? Yeah, hi. Thanks a lot for the opportunity here. What we are showing here is a basic media center application that we can control naturally. We call PrimeSense, we are saying PrimeSense bringing natural interaction into consumer lifestyle. So I will show you what natural interaction means. You see the media center application, I'm go just going to wave my hand and I'm grabbing control over the system. As you can see, my hand is acting as a pointing device right now. I can just click any category that I want, just very gently click it. I can start filtering my connection, my music collection based on just text input. And now I can just pick a song. I can play it. I can play with the volume. I can sync. And I can just let my arm down and continue to speak like an Israeli with my hands and nothing will happen. And so uh, is this compatible with all TVs? I, I, wh what's the actual product then? OK, so what you're seeing down there, if you can take a picture of that, that's the sensing technology. So the sensing technology is a USB device powered by our chipsets. The USB device is actually generating uh, this little picture that you're seeing over there, which is what we call a depth map. It's connected by USB to any device like a PC, set -a box TV. So any device that has processing capability and a USB interface can be powered by our technology. OK, and uh, we've also heard about the ASUS. Uh, please pronounce that for me again. Yeah, so ASUS uh, is, um, is a strategic partner of PrimeSense. They have uh, launched a product called Wavi. Wavi is a, media s is a PC extender to the living room based on wireless HDMI technology. But with us, we have extended Wavi with a product called Action. Action is a sensor powered by PrimeSense technology that is connected to Wavi, and then you can get, you can get access to your PC from the comfort of your couch using gestures and hand points and you know hand movements exactly like I've showed here. More than that, you can also do games if you are interested to see some games. So, for example, can we do games because I will need a little bit of space. So I, I I'll need a little bit of space. So now I'm going to play with my whole body, which is really the premise of this technology. Basically connect, but without the Xbox now. Yeah, it's not connect. I mean, the idea here is that interactive entertainment, not really gaming. Gra gaming is the game of Xbox. But I look at it not as gaming, I look at it as interactive entertainment. Interactive entertainment will be powered by any device. That's the reality, right? We all know that. But it's going to be in different levels. Xbox is going to be the high end of gaming. It's going to be where you get the ultimate experience. And others will just offer you other business models for consuming, you know, just more casual interactive entertainment. So what I need to do right now is jump. You know, I'm steering with my body, I can accelerate, I can shoot opponents. And I can slow down, and I can go there. And I can, again, shoot. Very simple game, but a lot of fun. If I want to finish the game, I do. And the game will stop. They have this kind of Japanese gesture for stopping the game. And then I can go home. And then I'm back in my media center. So if you think about it from a lifestyle point of view, we are really imagining that someone is sitting, you know, a, a person is sitting on his couch, he's browsing his video collection, and, su and suddenly the TV tells him, look, you have now watched a video for over an hour. Don't you think it's time to do some exercise? And then you get up on your feet, and there is a virtual trainer that steps in from the TV and, you know, walk you through some exercises. If this virtual trainer using the sensing technology feels you're too tired, he tells you, eh, sit down and relax, we will resume the movie for you. So the kind of experience that you have with your TV or with your service provider is fundamentally different than the passive couch potato type of experience we have seen so far. And we are powering all of this. And you mentioned that PrimeSense might actually be in integrated inside of TVs within the coming year. So we are expecting the first TV integration to appear in the end of 2011. What you will see in Q1, Q2, Q3 of 2011, you're going to see um, integration into living room PC, media center extender, as we've mentioned, or PC extender. You're going to see us coming with high-end set-top boxes with some 
leading service providers in Asia and in Europe. And you are seeing coming with accessory companies, with major accessory companies. Then the more traditional OEMs like TVs and so on will come. Do you know what kind of uh, added cost this, this brings to a TV? Uh, that's, an that's a very tricky information that we are not sharing, but I mean, you all know, for example, the retail price of the, of the Kinect. So you can think that this is kind of marking the retail, the, the kind of benchmark for the retail price of the, of, the, of the device itself. Everything will be around it. I mean, you're not going to see a $1,000 device and you're not going to see a $10 device just to, you know. But beyond that, it's a decision of our customers. So I really cannot comment on that more than that. Thank you. That's what we have for our Pride Sense.